and re-record this here, put it back on. So guys, welcome. Thank you so much, uh, Eric here. I'm super excited to share with you guys some fun stuff that um, that you, for your social media to your marketing to everything uh, with what we're going to about to show you on AI is going to be uh, uh, insane. Um, I had a friend that, uh, well, I won't get into that, but it was kind of hilarious because I was going to say sick. And so I remember, well, it was a friend of mine went to a wakeboarding store and the wakeboarding guy sold her a wakeboard and said, this is so sick. Well, of course, the guy was probably like a 19 year old guy selling her the wakeboard because is there a problem with the wakeboard? Why is it sick? But today it's going to be sick. OK, <laughs> so uh, I, I always tease her about that. But uh it was cute, but today is like uh, in, incredible uh, of what we're about to share with you. Um, I, before I probably, I, I can't see everyone, but if anybody wants to comment, did anybody attend the AI class? Actually, yeah, anybody attend the AI class? If you attended the AI class at Summit, go ahead and just put a little in the chat that attended or yes or whatever that you want, because I'm kind of curious to see um, what I've got there, because I'm going to show, I'll, I don't want to review. Yes, we're there. Thank you, Annie. Appreciate it. So I will, um, I'm just going to show you guys on chat GTP and, and I'm going to go there in just a moment because that's where we're going to kind of to hit is this chat GTP because I'm going to show you a, a plugin that you guys are going to absolutely love. So you guys can take some notes if you want to. Um, if you guys have Google Chrome, I think it works for Google Chrome and, and Firefox. So if you guys are most everybody's probably in Google Chrome. So um, wait, sorry, I admit all two more people coming in. So before I give them the... Another one, Keegan. All right, there we go. Got two more people. Perfect. Thank you, guys. Keegan, welcome. So, all right. So, number one is we're gonna talk. We're gonna talk about the Chat GTP. All right. So, um, if you guys haven't been in there, we're gonna be. What's new since the class that I taught, which we could go over this later. So, those who didn't attend that class, we can share you some other ideas here down below. But again, I don't want to overwhelm you because chat you know AI can totally overwhelm you but what I want to share here is that you're going to start seeing the word prompts people want prompts because like if you go in and say hey I want to get a some information and, and create a, a listing the verbiage for my listing well you gotta have to go in and do the same prompt the same prompt or the same you know copy paste so I started taking different prompts and you start finding them uh, in different places that you can copy and paste and put them in your chat GP. But I'm going to blow you guys your minds away here in the sense of just explosion of just some fun things you're going to add in. So you're going to go to the your Chrome Chrome store, which is your basically your extensions. All right. So, oh, we got Sarah coming in the house. This is going to be fun. Mm -hmm. All right. Hang on. Two more people. Look, everybody's so excited to come in. We got David's coming in. Sarah's coming in. All right. And Sarah's going to probably turn her camera on. She's probably running around, probably recording and filming at the same time while she's actually <laughs> watching somehow, some way. Good morning, Harry. Good morning. <laughs> there you are. All right. Okay. Here we go. I was about to share. I was waiting for you to come in and Davey came in. So I'm going to just, uh, you guys are going to go absolutely nuts with this. So I want you guys to go into your Google Chrome store on your extensions. And I want you guys to actually put the keywords everywhere. Okay, it's very critical. This is uh, the best, probably one of the most amazing um, extensions you'll ever see, you'll ever feel. Now, you could go down a rabbit hole with this. So I want you to, um, you know, actually the, the, there's a free version here and then you get these little credits. And so I like, I think I spend like a dollar, dollar fifty or something a month on some credits. You can do $5, you get a ton more credits and I'll share kind of what that is. So if you are into social media and you want to kind of see keywords, you want to see social media searches, you want to do any of that kind of stuff, that's great. Um, again, I'm not teaching that today because I will show you basically what this is. It, you, it actually it throws down things like uh, what the key searches are and stuff. If you can see it on my right side, it breaks down the cost per click. It breaks it down so you don't have to go hunt everything and go, what's it cost if I put real estate agent in Auburn? If I put this, so it shows you kind of the breakdown, the trends that are happening. And then it kind of comes down. You can actually go underneath here and see what, how many, 3 million like, you know, shares and all this type of stuff. So it goes kind of nuts. So you can actually go there. That's not what I'm teaching you. I'm just telling you that you can totally turn this off. And you, and this, you can see this on my upper right-hand side. I can come up here and I can totally turn it off if I want to turn off because if you leave it on, your credits are going to be going every single time that you, um, you know, search something. But one last thing like on YouTube that I'll share with you here too, that you'll, you'll like, because it works with YouTube. 
So if I go in and I search, um, you know, real estate agents or something like that. And so if I, you know, it actually will kind of break down and it will start showing you kind of what their, their breakdowns and you'll start seeing it underneath their, their videos of uh, information about what, what, how many views they have, how many subscri subscribers they have, how many, um, like in, you know, any of their search kind of stuff. So again, play with that. Don't go too deep on it because you got to put an a API key. You can do all that type of stuff, but this is what I want to show you why you want this extension. Th those who are going into uh, chat ChatGTP, here it is. If you guys aren't familiar with Jet GTP, you basically all, all you basically do is just uh, it's this it's a uh, Jet GTP open a you know open openai.com um, you know you just and I know Google Bard those who probably haven't heard that terminology that's coming too that's going to be the AI for Google that's popping in there as well so that's how you sign up it's a free account chat.openai.com I'm pretty sure most people actually have this already going. So you, it's fairly simple. This is kind of what it basically looks like. So here's the kicker part. When you put this keywords everywhere and you open that up, guess what this just analyzed and did for you? Oh, this is so exciting. You ready? All right. So you guys, those who have played with this stuff before, if you put the, the, the K, you will see these templates now that will this pops up. Those who have not had this and do not download this extension, you will not have these templates. So this is where the whole key to the prompts, you no longer have to go copy paste prompts for your for your, your discussions and your things you're doing. You click the word templates. <gasps> ah, look what happens here. Now I'm not gonna get into this. We'll do this one in just a moment, which is even more fun. So if you wanted to do, let's say uh, copywriting, marketing, so if you wanted to come in and you want to do marketing subcategory, you know, or or if I want to do social media, we'll do that one because it's so fun. If I want to do like a Facebook or an Instagram, I could come in here and do this and say, okay, I want to post ideas. So if I want to go, what post ideas do I want for my social media? I could do English. You and those who are bilingual, you have a zillion different languages in here, kind of have fun. You could really freak out all your followers by all of a sudden starting posting different languages and they'll think that you're just like, you know, super bilingual and cool. You could do cheerful. You can actually put frank, friendly, fun, humorous, whatever verbiage that you guys want. These prompts are totally already in here. So I do cheerful. I can do conversational, informative, whatever you want to put on this to technical, however you want. And then you just basically put, um, you know, homes, you know, let's say we'll put uh, um, selling a home in today's market. Okay, let's say I want, um, and I'm doing a Facebook social media, and I'm looking for some headlines. You can see that it kind of like put it down here. So this is my prompt. You just hit execute. Fill out, what did I miss? What did I miss? Oh, audience. You can put uh, sell home sellers, and you can put home sellers, and it puts the home sellers in there right there. You execute, and then it's going to now populate instantly. Uh, that was my probate one. Oh, sorry. Oh, let's see. Post idea. So this is where it came down here. So this uh, to put post different ideas and headlines. So now it all of a sudden just did gave me anything and everything. I don't think that actually worked, guys, because I think I did. Uh, I was in a pre one from this morning. So let me just go back and I will do a new chat. So new chat template. So social media, Facebook, eight ideas, cheerful English, home sellers execute template and boom. And now here comes what maybe it was. So here's your, um, your headlines. And so now it actually puts all the emojis, puts everything that you want in there. And so then that, that was really cool. I love that one. Let me show you another one that I really, really liked too. And again, go to templates, social media. And I think that, um, what it talked about ideas and then, uh, Talked about head uh, select template post groups Facebook, and it gave me S O S O I S O. Let's see where'd that go? Keyword search. You could do that. You could go again. This is kind of a complete rabbit hole right here. But uh, and it actually gave you like on the marketing. Where was that one? I just love, 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 love. It actually said it gave me headlines. So if you want to do headlines on marketing, time frame marketing. Um, wasn't copyright because the copyright gets all sorts. If you want to do blogs and stuff, that that would just blew my mind two days ago when I looked at that one too. Um, where is that one? Excel. Oh, you can do Excel spreadsheet stuff. We're not even going to go that one. Maybe it was in social media, but Facebook, select a template. 
Um, I was um, post group, post post ideas, but um, I like this one on the ad calculator too. So if you wanted a creator, so if you wanted to do um, home sales or home, home um, you know, selling your home, selling your home, selling your home or something like that. And then you put conversational, but it actually gave me and executed a complete like marketing in, that I found yesterday. Like if I want to do a social media calendar and I want to do once a month or once a week, it actually broke down every single thing of, of everything I wanted to do during that time, which was kind of cool. Um, they actually had another one that was marketing i can't find that one that i really really liked because i'm gonna wait till i get to the bottom and show you one that's even more in awesomeness if that's even a word is that an awesomeness there is that a word awesomeness um but i'll go down okay maybe it's in professionals but you could go into professionals right here and guess what they have a professional of realtors right there and so now you can actually go to a i want a listing letter i want a buyer preparation i want a cold mail outreach and I want to say I want it English. I want it to be like, you know, conversational. I want it to be edgy, whatever you want to do. I want to go reply and it gives you a, a call to action. And I want to go, let's say I want to go after sellers and I'm just going to go um, outreach content. I'll say, um, you know, selling, selling, you know, your, you know, probate, probate home or something like that. Yeah, more people coming in. So now if you execute template, now it just gives me a complete letter that it says, I hope this email finds you well, blah, blah, blah. I understand that you're an agent in strong relationships. You can actually make it shorter. You can make it longer. And I'm done. I could totally take this, copy it, stick it in a Word document, and I'm done. You know, I'm 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 on my way. Um, if you want to do, um, let me go back and look at other ideas that you could do. Cold outreach, a listing let, listings letter, buyer rep, uh, preparation. I haven't done the, di the dictionary one yet, but I think, you know, it's anything and everything that you guys even want to do, you know, of anything that you want. Please. Question, please. That prompt template, that's already in there? That's part it's of not. this? Okay, you, you wrote if you, that? If you go to ChatGTP, those who just joined, uh, if you go to ChatGTP and you just sign up, you're just basically looking like, like this. It's just like this, and you're going to just go, okay, I'm going to do a new chat. You have to go to a new chat. Let's see if I can find it. It's down here on the bottom. Um, and then all you're doing is send a message. So down here, you're like, you're just saying, um, you know, give me a listing prompt of cheerful writing and informative to my buyers. And you're having to retype all of that and all that as original stuff to be able to then pull something for you. If you guys, those who came in, go to your Chrome extension and add keywords everywhere right here. And then again, chat GTP is free. Keywords is free. If you want to start doing the keyword stuff and everything as far as SEO kind of things, then you can pay a little bit more money, but it's free just to get all you're really wanting is this. When you download that, your template, this then pops up into chat GTP. And there's so many videos. The guy's really cool. He actually has, if you go, you could go into, again, a complete crazy library of a bunch of videos and stuff of what this guy has. So if you want to learn a little bit more, but if you could, if you upload that in there, you've got the templates and now you just go when to you, your templates. When you bring up that template though, that, that, that box at the bottom that says prompt template, is that... So when you when you click on templates, this one right here, uh huh, and then that very that bottom box in there says prompt template. Is that automatically being written from everything you're choosing above? Yes. So Got these it. are already pre-positioned in here. So that was that was if I go to professionals, but I I I played till like midnight last night, and it was incredible. Of this, I, I wish I could kind of find this one that I was with that was a. Uh, I literally laid out my whole entire like marketing plan of of that. And I thought I did it in the social media one, but subcategory, because maybe it was an Instagram, I can't remember, but uh, but you could actually come and you know, there was a, oh Instagram post calendar. Maybe that's what it was. And so if I went um, you know, home home selling, you know, home selling in today's market or something like that. And so then I want, how many articles do you want a week? Well, Sarah, you're going to want to post like, you know, six articles a week. And how many months do you want to do? Well, I kind of want to do, you know, let's do a six month plan. 
And I want to go, I kind of like to be, you know, a cheerful type of person. And I want it to be, you know, instructive and, you know, selling to the market and then execute template. And within a matter of just like minutes, here's my January post. Here's my January 7th. Here's all my posts. And you can, uh, you know, tweak it a little bit, add a little bit. I, maybe I shouldn't have put six months, guys, because we might be here for a minute. <laughs> But uh, but here's here it is. So it like gives you your hashtags, April Fools, avoid common selling mistakes, learn what to do when selling your home, neighborhood advice, how to utilize your so it's totally taking April's stuff and, and knowing when it's in the importance of home inspections, the role of the home inspection, successful home inspection. So it's giving all your hashtags and everything. So there's your headings. And I really loved you know, yesterday I was playing with this. Give me like these, these, these um headings or these subject lines for emails of exciting email, you know, email, you know, to have better open rates. And so it gave me like 30 of them. Then you took that one that I really like and you put it back into chat GTP and says, okay, write me an article on this, this one heading caption. It was like totally crazy. So you can totally, again, you'll spend a little bit of time, but you, if you open chat GTP, it won't be there until you actually upload that Chrome extension and then it's there. So that is, um, kind of fun. And then you can put um, in those who came in late, you actually could do the social media, the SEO, the marketing, the copyright. It was pretty, pretty crazy. You literally could take a blog or if you want to rewrite something, let's say you have a bio that you haven't, you're not super pleased with. You just put in there, you can just say, rewrite my bio and it will totally rewrite that for you. Um, marketing plans, uh, those who are huge into the SC, you know, into Excel spreadsheets, it gives you all sorts of commands and things on that too. Um, productivity, you know, it's like there's the Excel, the translation, you know, I, you know I, I don't know. You could totally do translation stuff in here, but but I love this professional one. So if I wanted to come in, like I'd go the realtor here, and if I want to do a um, a listing writer, so here's the prompt. It's already in there. It's already showing what you want. And then you can just put in, um, you know, property type and location to 177 Elm Court. And you just put, um, you know, Auburn, California. And then you can just do some kind of, you know, I would make this a little shorter because your MLS doesn't want it super long. And then I'll just put, um, you know, 3,000 square feet, you know, kind of um, square feet. And then with, uh, you know, a nice pool. And, um, you know, open floor plan, you know, plan. And then you just basically, you can put a few little things on there. Then it generates you this, uh, you know, discover this gem of stunning pool, open floor plan. And it kind of gives you kind of different things that you can do for different Facebook posts, TikTok ones, gives you different captions for all of that, just like instantly. So it's, um, it's pretty, pretty robust. So it's kind of, kind of fun on that. But so when I go in templates. You guys can play with this as long as you want, but um, it is, I think it's best. And they're actually continuing adding things in here and adding more categories to it as well. So buyer uh, preparation, I don't never really played with the dictionary, but you know, this is buyers, English, cheerful, instructive. Um, okay, this is a property. So this is actually goes into a property description for a buyer preparation on buying a house for a specific property. So yeah, that was kind of fun. So if you guys want, I I haven't really looked at anything else other than that, but maybe you want to, you know, look at other things that will give you more things, you know, in here too. But it's a game changer. It's a total game changer with Chat GTP uh, on this one, and there's, um, it just is. You know, we can do a lot of different things. So if you guys aren't really utilizing that and you want to start utilizing for AI, just come on in here and and play for hours and hours and hours and hours. So questions on any of this? You need to have the keywords everywhere extension, the little toggle on when you're using chat GPT. Um, you don't have to like right now, the little toggle that I have, like right here on this, this right here, it's all it's, I can turn it off. Um, and then you can still use it. And in, I can in... still use it because okay. um, it actually is still there. It just builds in and you don't you, only if I was going to look at all of this other information and kind of like, and what this keywords are is like, you can see all of this other stuff that populates, if this will populate, I don't wanna look at Rocky, I wanna look at me. All right, let's do that. So, you know, if you can see that it's 3 million total backlinks and it kind of like goes into a little bit depth. I like that, I, I guess it's a spam, you know, spam score, which was low. I really like the domain authority, 93 of a hundred. 
I like that one. So that kind of, so you can actually go. So I would go, you can actually go to, let's say, San Diego, top real estate agents in San Diego or top agents in your in your area. And you want to see, and this will actually share and show what they're actually doing and what their authority is and what links. And, and, and so it actually shows you the keywords over here of what you actually can actually, you know, seek and search for. So that's kind of what it does. It's a whole different program, but today we're just concentrating a little bit on just more of just getting this templates right here to actually speed some things up for you. Okay. All right. Um, that's really what I kind of wanted to share and show you guys. That's mind blowing, it, Eric. It's, it's it is mind blowing. It's super super fun. So, um, other a couple of fun ideas. Those who um have beautiful children named Sparrow and other things that you guys want to do. And if you guys like have a bunch of kids, there's one down here. It's me. There's meal planning. Like, I guess I could just go live, but if you actually were to go a new chat and you wanted to say a couple of things that I really like is say, um, you know, let's say, you know, meal, make, make a meal, you know, with, a you know a, like piece of corn or something like that if you only have like a potato a piece you know potato uh, you know some sauce you just kind of put it in there it'll give you like four or five recipes or a meal plan meal plan for six days you know give me a meal plan for six days and say i'm a vegetarian or whatever it might what, do and it just will like start spitting out kind of a meal plan for you and then what you can do is that there's your dinner is your breakfast and then you can actually say now after you finish this, you go okay, give me the give me the um give me the um, um you know uh, provide provide like shopping shopping list you know for your food, and then it's going to kind of bring bring down what exactly that you're going to need to actually purchase. So it's actually I like that one too. That one's kind of a fun. So if you're doing a a family vacation and you're in charge of some kind of meal, then there it is for you, and you can kind of break it down. But that was kind of one of my fun things there on ChatGTP uh, on the um on things that you can do. See if there's anything else that I remember, kind of the ads. This was again, the class that we did, but yeah, it was YouTube, that was fun. Writing script, but if you guys aren't writing your property scripts though, you guys need to write your property scripts on there and you need to, you know, change it. As Dan would always say that, you know, it's not always a hundred percent accurate. So make sure you kind of tweak it a little bit and, and make it in. You could do your blog writing too. If you guys wanted to take the Century 21 um, select blog that they actually provide for you and copy that straight over, that's great. If you feel like you want to put it a little bit different twist on it, copy the blog, stick it into Stick it right into ChatGTP and it will completely do, you know, rewrite it for you. Um, if you wanted to like not watch a two hour YouTube video, you could, or YouTube like long thing, you can actually put, give me the description of the, what that was. You can actually put a super long paper of an article of something with the new change of a law and you don't really, you want to abbreviate bullet points, you can put bullet points and then you can actually do, do something with that too. Um, if you guys aren't, you know, using captions, you know, app, there's a captions app that actually is really, really awesome that you can do video. There's a new AI tool that if you guys haven't seen it on, on TikTok, that basically it moves your eyeballs. So if you guys aren't um, haven't seen that one yet, I'll, I'll probably teach that one here shortly. But basically, it's like a, you know, if I'm if I'm actually looking at you guys and you're I'm talking, but I could be looking over here and reading, guys. This is such a great article. I just wanted to share with you about da da da, da and then about the selling your home and the importance of selling your home. And here's the 17 things that I want to share with you. Do you see how I'm not looking at the camera? Did you see that I was looking this way? But this AI new tool actually just keeps your face straight. You're looking over here, but it moves your eyeball. So it looks like you're actually having conversations with the camera. So now you don't have to memorize anything anymore and you could just have and read it all. So I'm going to be bringing that to the table uh, next, probably next week. There's another one that I really, really like. Have you used it? I, I have not used that one, but I know that the one that I have on um, keeping current matters, it seems like it actually has the same kind of um, eyeball maneuvering over with your your that now captions app it actually can take and you can put your your script inside of it and then you can just like you know record it with your phone and then you can just kind of read it you know and you can read it with it straight but this is sometimes you know when I try to put a long one I did like this longer blog that I went wow I'd really like to put that one in so I stuck it in there and it was like copy paste copy paste and, and doing it on your phone's kind of like hard to get the whole thing in there but this one if I had my just a piece of paper right here on my side of my desk and you guys can't see this and I'd go introducing the speaker panel a breakfast sponsor thank you and then you know you just kind of keep looking at this paper reading it but then it forms it straight ahead another one that I really like that you guys are going to be blown away with is um 
with a LinkedIn response. So uh, if you go to like, I don't know if I can, I go to like LinkedIn, if I actually have that running. What's the name of the eyeball one? Uh, I have to find that again. I was looking for- Oh, it. sorry. You know, those ones that you actually, um, I'll get that for you and I'll see if I can put it in chat. Here, go look, go watch a bunch of, uh, go into a bunch of TikTok videos and it will pop up. I better re I'm no, just teasing. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but um, what this one was, um, let's see. So we have uh, this, this individual right here was rewarded training actually part of. So if what this, uh, let me see if it's set up on, I have this. If you guys come to one of these, and I want to, um, I wonder why that's, no, it's not, I don't have it turned on, but what was really cool about this one that I saw is that I actually could, you actually come down and it actually, it actually has a button right here. I wonder why I don't have that on there. Um, but it was a button that actually says respond to the article or respond to comments. And it, um, and it allowed it to, um, you can actually ask a question, respond to it, or comment or congratulate is what it did. And I don't know why that's not on there. Um, but but it was like a, a link there for LinkedIn. So you just go congratulate. And it reads the article. And then it just puts a little blurb and says, congratulations on blah, blah. Or so you could do quickly go through and actually comment and discuss and give comments to a ton of things within seconds without writing anything. And just kind of like congratulations or you know ask comments and have engagement on those comments. So um, I'll have to find out why that's not. I wasn't going to do that one today, but I, I thought I had that on there. So anyway, that's some other things that they actually have coming too, which are kind of fun. So um, oh, right here. Okay, it is. This is it right here. I don't know why I didn't see this, but maybe it's not, not it's it's not on the ones that are the sponsored ones, but like on right on this one here, you can see that I have my so give support or a, a joke or have an idea or a question. So this is a an add-on that I will show you and teach you how to and what to do that. So it looks like it is just on people's uh, comments on regular ones like congratulate Audrey starting a new position and sort of occupation there. And so you can just go, you know, hit support. And then it just kind of uh, drops. Oh, that's all. Oh, here's the here it is, guys. This is what it is. So write this down because it is a uh, R E. It's a uh, replay R E P L A I dot S O because that was the uh, the app that I had put on there. And I don't know. Um, purchasing a license to key generates more AI report for Twitter, and it was for Twitter and LinkedIn too. So I'm not sure why, it, maybe I would have to do something, but I'll have to go by. Oh, oh, I think this is what it is. There might be the free version that I had, um, well, 2020. I'll have to go back and look, but that was the uh, the link that I found on some class that this last week that I was listening to, but um, but it was kind of fun that you can do twi Twitter and LinkedIn uh, responses is kind of fun. All right, sorry, I just went down a rabbit hole there. Um, I have a question. Yes. Have you figured out a way to get over the fact that it only like can access data from 2021? and prior it you know the interesting thing is i don't know understand really when you actually put something in there like on an address or a new listing or something and it's like how do they just populate that information when there was supposedly it was a few years ago you can see in there and i i have the free version of chat gtp and so you probably saw in the new chat that you saw like vision you know gp4 and then 3.5 i think this one right here is the one that actually does have that do you guys see these little three stars? Have you guys noticed started noticing that in your Gmails and everything throughout? If you haven't seen these little guys right here, that you need to kind of like watch that because if you'd like those who want use Chime, see them right here again. This is the new symbol for kind of an AI kind of thing. So if you start seeing those into that, you can hit that. And then it actually was says follow up with this lead, property needs schedule a call. So I just go follow up with this lead. And it just goes, hey, Jessica, hope this finds you well, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Sarah just went nuts on me because I know she uses Chime. <laughs> mm. Sarah, I use ChatGPT <laughs> to write social media content sometimes for other clients. And it pulls very relevant information. If you give them like the business name or website, it pulls stuff directly from their website. So I haven't seen anything like super from 2000 or 2021 it's all very relevant um and even when you ask it to do things like sometimes i ask it to do things like legal things like what are the steps i need to take to do this action in nevada county and it gives me a very up-to-date 
um, like instruction list on how to do that in the current year. So I haven't seen a problem with like the duration or the timing of information yet um, because I'm I'm not sure, but I'm pretty certain that ChatGPT pulls everything from Google and then creates like a very informed response based on what's available on Google. It like groups it all together. Whenever I try to, I've been trying to use it to uh, write my market updates mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'm trying to get it to pull data just from like a specific time period. And it, then it just tells me it can't because it, it doesn't, it only pulls from 2021 and prior. So it actually physically tells you or types out and says, sorry, this is, I can only pull this much from this time. Yeah. I think you're, are you on a 3.5 or 4.0? I'm on just the basic. Yeah. Basic so I, I haven't really experimented with that, that other 3.0 or 4.0, if that was actually even free or if you, you know, yeah, see, it looks like it's a, see, I'm the free version. So it's $20, you know, could it be $20 a month? Probably not a bad upgrade if it actually does give you more up to date, but I would probably Google that first and say, does chat GTP for, you know, for give you, um you know, up to date you know, up to what year it might be before you, you know, spend that 20 bucks. You might also be able to prompt it to pull from like a certain website. So like keeping current matters, maybe you can ask it to write a market update based on the current statistics from keeping current matters. And it might pull from that. I'm not sure what year it would pull it from, but you could try asking it that way. <laughs> I'm yeah, that true. I'm looking on just on other emails and stuff because I've started seeing these little cute little stars and and more than just one place. It's been more than just in here, but I love that look that we've got from Sarah right there on on that. So if you guys have any kind of chat GDP, look for this little symbol, and it will just be it's there populates like property needs schedule a call. I thought that was kind of fun. So Sarah, you'll have fun with this one, okay? And then what you can do is Sarah, is you can actually find something like this that you like, what type of property you're looking at, you go, wow, this is kind of a little bit too long. Then you just kind of backspace, change it up a little bit, and then go ahead and save it as a template. And then you can actually then just go over here to template and then just drop it down so it's actually more customized to you. All right, so that was kind of fun. So those guys who came in, uh, you need to make sure you go to Google Chrome and you need to um, get this um, keywords everywhere in your extensions. And you know, I know we just had a few people jumped in keywords extensions there and then jump into chat GTP. And then you will actually have this templates right here that will pop up and you guys will, it, it's amazing. You guys will absolutely love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. It gives you all the prompts and you can find other prompts and stuff that you can see. You can just Google, Google chat GTP prompts for real estate agents. Uh, but you probably could do that through chat GTP, you know, probably run, run you a list as well. Are you just cool. Any other questions you guys have on this? And I'm, again, I'm only keeping it real simple. I know it's not really simple, but this, I'm just going to show you this one thing because you guys will spend all weekend playing with it and it's really fun. No cool. Anybody have any additional questions on anything else other than just uh, chat to DP or anything about AI or anything about just real estate or family or anything, kids advice or anything you want? <laughs> Besides lowering a price, if you've got something sitting, what's your like number one go to in the conversation with the seller? I was on a tour yesterday and there was about six agents in this. Uh, and again, I don't want to, you know, it wasn't like we were trying to, but I just wanted to, all six agents on this house on tour. And we thought, wouldn't it be really nice if all the agents right now in our local area could just go, okay, guys, we need to do like a, a five, five or 10% cut on all our houses, ready, set, go. And then tell all the agent, all the, everybody together that let's just do it and say, we're having a mass sale this weekend. So let's reduce the property. Um, you know what? It, it's interesting. This is what I basically what I do. Um, I take and, and I'll open three windows. I'll open another window and I'll just, um, I don't know if she's over there, but I, I will, uh, I will come into prospector and it, and you'll get more price reductions by just doing this. And I'll, are you in the MLS? I am in the MLS. Oh, you're, you're out of it now. Okay. Thank you. Okay. You just got booted. Sorry. I hit the button too fast. Um, how's your new computer over there, Ryan? So good. Good. I'm glad you actually have that. She got a new computer. She was, uh, her speed at the computer was just like so slow. 
All right. So what I basically do, and I probably didn't really have this go in here, but actually in those who haven't seen this button, this is my favorite button in the MLS. You ready for it? So if I like go to, um, cause I need to do this today on a particular house, but if I go to, and I just say, you know, active homes and I'll go like Lake of the Pines and I'll just say, here's my Lake of the Pines active homes. And I got 11 of them and I might change it only because you know, I, obviously I don't need this $1.9 million one. So I'll probably on this particular one, I'm going to keep it a little bit more simple for them. If it's only nine, I might just show them just so if they're out of the area that they know there's only 11 homes on the market. So I probably will keep that one uh, on that. But if it's like there's 30 homes and they're from a six, you know, my price range is 400. I'm only going to do like, you know, 350 to 500 and show them those type of homes. So this is my favorite button in, in the whole world in the MLS is this cute one right here. If you haven't seen it, that opens up a new tab. And so now it actually kept my other information over there. And now I have a new tab. And then I just go over here to like the search, search on right here, recent searches. And I'm just gonna go to recent searches, go back to this one. And I'm going to then just create really three reverse criteria, revise. And I'm gonna go with the um, the pendings. And, and you can see what I'm kind of doing here. Then I'm just gonna go that. I have, that's actually quite a bit of pendings, 18 in there. And then I'm going to go do another one. And I'm going to, um, it is lagging slowly. Recent searches. And I'll go there. And now I'm going to do, I do this uh, every two and a half to three weeks for individuals for, for the market. And I'm going to go to closed. So I'm going to um, put, uh, let's say, in the last, um, I don't know, what is the day, the 20th or 19th or whatever it is today. So I'm going to put, um, you know, zero, zero, oops, that's not what I meant, zero, one. I'm going to put it from the beginning of October. So I have four. And then what I do is I like to go right here uh, and I put the galley view on all of these. So now I have the galley view of the sold properties. I'll go right here and I'll probably, the pending ones is probably a pretty big group of houses. I might've actually tweaked that a little bit and went to more of my, my price range. And so basically what I do, I have all these three things open. There's not showing like who the agent is, you know, so, you know, it's not any information that I don't want them to see that it's uh, all Sarah, 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 Sarah. And then they're like, maybe I should call Sarah if they're all Sarah sold all these homes. So I leave all these like this and I basically then go into an email and I, record my screen and I just record my screen and go, you know, Hey, Charlene, this is Eric catch. I hope all is well. Hey, I'm so excited that we had that showing uh, yesterday. Oh, they have some interest in it. I'm kind of working on getting some more feedback from you, but I'll let you know, but I just wanted to just show you kind of what's going on here in Lake of the Pines. You can see that we have just have these uh, nine houses that are available in Lake of the Pines, which is, is, is actually, whoops, I went the wrong one. So I start with the active ones. Oops. Uh, you know, I blew my video. It was so exciting. But I will start with the active ones and I'll just kind of go and show them the 11 houses that are on the market and where the price ranges are. And then I'll go, you know, then what I'm super stoked about is there are 18 houses. Ah, it was the active ones, but I lost the pending ones. But there's only like a couple, there's 18 pendings. It's super excited. But this is what I'm a little concerned about here. Um, who I was I using? Charlene. Because you can see right here, this month alone, yes, we have 11 houses, but we only have four of them actually that sold. And you can see that we had the 621 and there's none of them in your price range of the 750 and the other two that are even closer, these two homes right here. So I just wanted to share with that with the 11 houses on the market, only four that have sold so far this month, then that's going to be a market share that we're probably about a month or two, maybe two and a half months out for all, if no other inventory actually popped on the market for you to be able to, um, you know, maybe get the successful sale that we're looking for. So I'm, a, you know, just wanted to share that. I'm a little concerned that because there's not a lot of uh, pending sales going on and a little bit light on the solds and, and maybe we might want to adjust it because both of these are in the sixes and you're actually in the 719 range and maybe we need to do some uh, adjustment in pricing. So let me know what you think. And that's all I, and I say. Thank you very much. I show my picture. I share my screen. And then probably an hour later, they'll say, Eric, let's reduce the price $10,000. So I don't know. That's a, that's what I do.
So I know that was a long answer, a long answer to your small question, but I just kind of like, just kind of show them those three, three screens and go, you could actually do a whole new CMA and stuff on it and plug them all in and put them in there. But this is just live and it's just easier for me just to click it. And if I wanted to go in here and just show them and say, yeah, you know, this house, I have no idea what they got. I really, really have no, no idea how they got 621,000. I'm being honest just with all you guys too on this particular house uh, for the other houses that I have mined around the corner that, and this is a super steep driveway and it's just like, and my house that, you know, looks nicer than this one. So, you know, every house is, you know, someone's house. So I'll show them. So now this is the same countertop, same kitchen, same this, or Sarah, I might say, well, look at this one. This one's got a full on granite, solid counters and prettier this and look how nicely staged this house is and you know kind of like hinting, hinting little things that it's clean and yours is kind of like needs to be cleaned up because yours is dirty or whatever it might be so so that's kind of what how i do that on on the price adjustments i don't ever say price um let's lower your price i say we need to do a price adjustment i will show um you know just say look that this we've never had in these homes in this price point before and now all of a sudden they're in because i have there's some really amazing pro properties for sale, Sarah, right now. And those who are working in Grass Valley for $325,000 to $423,000 in Grass Valley that we have not seen in like five years. And so there's, it's, it's incredible. So I like to go show those. So I did the same video with this the other day and just said, instead of just sending them the video, I, and I'm, we actually booked an appointment for Friday. I showed, I said, look at these four homes. I've never seen these price points before. We have to go look at these houses before the mar before you know the market changes or these you know the prices either go up or interest rates go down because this would be a great time. And she goes, "Yep, let's go look at all four of those." And then we, we're going next Friday. So that so it's kind of just the video and my face talking to them just kind of um you know makes things move a little bit quicker. All right, thank people, you. Eric. Probably people are scared to ask a question now, right? <laughs> How long will I take to answer it? Um, how have, how, how to have the conversations with the listing agent about my buyer delaying the closing because the first loan has been denied, but we secured the loan with a new broker, never been here before. I'm dreading the call. Uh, the listing agent, how, how to conversate with the listing agent that my buyer delayed the closing because, okay, you know what? I have this, uh, I have this exact same thing, uh, Maria, this morning that my buyer just called or my buyer called and said, that um, there might be an issue with my my lender. And so anytime the rules are here is if you ever switch a lender, any anytime during escrow, you need to make sure you notify the other side and, and let them know. Um, I never, I would never make a call to a buyer, seller, or agent unless I have two or three solutions of how we might be able to fix this. So if I have a conversation with the other agent and say, hey, I just want you to know, um, you know, Sarah, you know, I know we're in contract on this house on ABC Main Street. I just got notified by my my lender that there was a little bit of an issue. It sounds like if you can actually pull this off because you want to already speak to another agent and go to another new loan broker. And if that new loan broker says, you know, I think I could do this because Sarah and I were in a meeting this week that it was Shannon or Shondell at Stanford and said they actually got somebody else. They just brought on board and got totally pre-approved just got completely denied by someone else and so i would go back and say i just want to let you know that sarah that um that we're switching lenders because there's some lender on this one lender that had some kind of issue or concern with i've already spoken to this other lender and i'm ccing her into i'll have her give you a call as well and it's because of a b and c of this bank policy or whatever it might be and they're pre-approved with this person but i just wanted to let you know that that was transpiring and happening if there's any questions or you need to let me know please um please give me a call, but I'm going to have that agent give you a call. You might have that, that lender, lender get on a conference call with you, you know, get a conference call and say, Hey, this is a, this is Eric and Shondell just wanted to let you know that uh, in that way that that agent, because if that agent gets off the phone and freaks out and goes, Oh, everything, how am I going to tell my client that we're, we're crashing and burning. You just bring that, that lender on the phone with you video conference, whatever, and let them actually share and show the confidence, how they are going to be able to put it together. And that would be crisis diverted. And then that agent will go away and may or may not tell their client that they just switched loan brokers because they, you know, you guys just solved the problem before you just call them. If I called up, you know, Sarah and said, Sarah, we have a, a problem, an issue that doesn't look like they can qualify, but I'm calling two or three other lenders and I'll get back to you. That just made the fire bigger. So I would have the solution before you go and, and, and have it solved before you do that. Because on mine, the situation this morning, similar to that, they actually, 
are throwing money from their IRA to show that they can in, they can qualify for two homes, but now it just put them in a different tax bracket and it just put them something where now if their ratios may not, they're, they're a little bit tweaked. So I, should I rush out and told the other agent this morning that I had that phone call? No, I'm not going to do it. Sometimes I wait for even a day until I get to come up with a solution before I panic the people. And so sometimes my buyers and sellers, there's a problem that comes up from the lender and I, and my seller isn't even notified or my buyer's not notified. I don't bring it up until there's a solution. And sometimes or most of the time we actually figure it out and get it through. And we didn't even have to even stress them out over the situation. Okay. So thank you for that question. Uh, new baby is doing fantastic. Super, super cute. Yesterday, I got to see the new baby uh, briefly as I uh, brought their car into the garage. I were, had car issues yesterday and we were down one car. And so Sarah, uh, not Sarah, you're Sarah. That was Teresa over there. Teresa was my Uber yesterday, which was nice. But baby's super cute. I'll um, get some pictures maybe next time on that one. Uh, let's see. Yeah, the Chrome and then what the second. Okay, so you said to add keyword changes changes to Chrome. So just go and add that. Um, go into to Google. Da, 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 right here. Just go and just Google Chrome Web Store and then then do keywords everywhere. And just log this in and just download it. That's all you need to do to get that in chat GTP. If you want to do a little bit more craziness, watch a couple of videos and then they'll give you this AP key that you copy, paste it in this little box. They'll email it to you and then it actually just you know, gives you all that other information. But right now it's a free free program. All right. I think we got that. All right. Any other questions? Uh, there we go. Well, I'm sorry. Detail chat to be. Thank you for the link there for everyone. Okay. Thank you. That's yeah. Fine. Um Eric, I got a question. Good morning, by the way. Um, on the Google Chrome um, extension, uh, the Google Chrome everywhere, do I need to log in to Google? Yeah, if, you, if you're using Google and Google Chrome, yes, you will need to log into Chrome, your Google account. It probably, since I'm already always logged in, it probably would... Like if I just went, you guys, I don't know if, if you guys are using a lot of extensions, but the extensions, there's so many fun ones that actually help. Like like I have my bomb bomb extension. And so these are ones that you have to be logged in to be able to uh, to get those. And if you wanted to actually stick it uh, in here, like like this case right here, you just, you see how that was a pin? You could actually just pin it. So if I wanted my bomb bomb to be, you know, straight up, then I pin it and then bomb then I can see them a lot quicker right here is what you can do. But yes, you need to be logged in add the extension it takes like one minute, two minutes to add the extension. It's like an app. It's basically an app store is really what it is. And there's so many things in here that, that will, I like it, you know, cause you, it's rare that you have almost like five stars there. Cause sometimes they'll go into the extension and I don't know, Sarah or, or um, Jessica can give me some kind of other one that we might be able to put in here, but you can put, you know, help me with something. And then there'll be about 10 of them that will pop up. And some of them are like one star, some are five stars. So, you know, Go with a, a credible source before you throw a bunch of extensions and stuff going on uh, inside um, your company. It, um, is there a way that you can give me access to share my screen and um, I can show you where I'm at? Yeah, we can. Um, I wonder if I have to. I need to get off of my share screen. So I will. I need to move you guys back over here. So there, I think you should be able to, do you see any control it right says, there? host disabled participant screen sharing on my side. Mm -hmm. um, so if you go to your share screen icon, it should, um, you, it, it, there's a multiple mm -hmm. share screen, multiple or something like that. Yep, so you should have it now. You see it now? Okay, there we go. Yep, I see it. Okay, here we go. Um, 